Hello everyone. So today in this video, we will be discussing about a uh, problem that is based upon the epicyclic gear tin. Clear? So before that, uh, we must discuss about the tabular method of it. So this is a table which is going to be used in all the numericals based upon the epicyclic gear tin. Clear? So before starting with the table, I just want to tell you this is a case, simple case of epicyclic gear train. Uh, this is gear A, this is gear B and there is an arm C that is connected between the center of the two gears. Clear? And this is how the table is drawn. So in the table, the first will be the condition of the arm. Second will be the revolutions of the element initially gear, revolutions of the gear, sorry arm C, revolutions of the gear A, revolutions of the gear B. So to start with initially what is arm is fixed. So if arm is fixed it means we are saying that the arm is not moving and we are giving gear A rotation to plus one revolution, one revolution clockwise. So it is clockwise resolution and it is plus one. This meaning is that we are assuming that we have clockwise rotation. We are taking all of them, we are taking positive. जितनी भी आपके पास काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज में रोटेशंस आएंगी वो हम किस में लेंगे माइनस में अब ये बेसिकली क्या है ये एक तरह का साइन कन्वेंशन है जो मैं यहां पे यूज कर रहा हूं क्लियर इट इज अ साइन कन्वेंशन तो ये कंपलसरी नहीं है कि अगर मैं यहां पे लिख रहा हूं कि आप क्लॉकवाइज पॉजिटिव लो तो आप पॉजिटिव ही लोगे यू कैन टेक इट नेगेटिव आल्सो बट एक बार जो साइन कन्वेंशन आपने लिख दिया कि हम ये यूज कर रहे हैं थ्रू आउट द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फॉलो इट क्लियर मैं यहां पे क्या अज्यूम कर रहा हूं कि जो क्लॉकवाइज है वो पॉजिटिव है जो काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज है वो क्या है नेगेटिव है अगर आपने इसका रिवर्स अज्यूम करना है आप वो भी कर सकते हो क्लियर कुछ बुक्स में यहां पे काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज भी लिखा होता है क्लियर अगर तो आप आम यहां पे सी क्या है जीरो है तो गियर ए प्लस 1 रोटेशन हम उसको बोल ही रहे हैं तो गियर बी का कितना आएगा तो आपने वो निकालना है तो इसका बेस्ट मेथड क्या है सिंपली अगर मैं यहां पे पुट करता हूं दैट एन ए over n b will be equal to what minus of t b over t a i am saying the n a is what it is positive one revolution so obviously job ka n b hai kitna a jayega it will be equal to minus of t a over t b so that is what i am writing in the speed of the gear b is what it is minus of t a upon t b Similarly, the second case of it, arm is fixed. Gear A is rotation, given a rotation of plus x revolution clockwise. Clear? It means it is in positive. Okay, so again arm is fixed, so it is zero. Gear A is having positive x revolution. So what is going to be the value of speed of gear B? So obviously, here if I say n A is not plus one, now it is replaced by plus x so n a will be plus x so obviously what is going to be the value of n b n b will be equal to what it is going to be minus n a that is x t a over t b so from here you can find the value of speed of the gear b for the second case of it minus x t a upon t b Similarly, if I say I am adding positive and revolution, positive y revolutions to all the elements clockwise. So plus y for the arm, plus y for the gear A, and plus y for the gear B. Clear? Ultimately, if I have to find the value of total motion, it is going to be plus y over here, then x plus y, then y minus of x t a upon t b. So these are the three final equations. Which method is in all the questions of the epicyclic gear train, we are going to draw this table depending upon the number of gears we have. Here we have arm C, gear A, gear B. Even if we have a third gear, gear D, gear E, we can draw it for that also. Okay, so here we have a question. Question if the gear A is fixed and the arm is given 10 revolutions clockwise. Find the speed of the gear B. So here I am solving a question. I am trying to explain you the best. Which is given to you. Gear A is given. We have given that its number of teeth is how many? They are 100. And which is given to you. Its number of teeth is given to you. They are 50. 
क्वेश्चन इनिशियली वो क्या बोल रहा है दैट इफ द गियर ए इज फिक्स्ड फर्स्ट इज इफ द गियर ए इज फिक्स्ड क्लियर सो इफ द गियर ए इज फिक्स व्हाट इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ इट इट इज एक्स प्लस वाई सो वी आर सेइंग इट इफ इट इज फिक्स्ड देन एक्स प्लस वाई विल बी इक्वल टू वट इट विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो मेरा फर्स्ट केस है क्लियर एंड वी आर गिविंग आम आम इज गिवन टेन रेवोल्यूशन क्लॉक वाइज सो आपकी आम की स्पीड कितनी है फर्स्ट वाई तो मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ कि जो y की वैल्यू है वो कितनी है प्लस टेन आएगा क्योंकि क्यों कैसी है ये ये क्लॉक वाइज है तो अगर ये क्लॉक वाइज किस में आएगा ये प्लस टेन आएगा क्लियर अभी क्वेश्चन क्या है फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द गियर b तो गी गियर b की स्पीड निकालने का फॉर्मूला क्या है इट इज y माइनस एक्स टी ए पॉन टी बी जो मैंने टेबल ड्रॉ करा हुआ है तो अगर मैं यहाँ पे पुट करता हूँ क्लियर y माइनस एक्स टी ए ओवर टी बी दिस विल बी इक्वल टू वट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ y वट इज y y इज पॉजिटिव टेन माइनस x वट इज x इफ x प्लस वाई इज जीरो obviously x will be equal to what minus y what is the value of y it is 10 so it will be equal to minus of 10 so the value of x is minus 10 multiply by ta number of teeth on the gear a we have given hai they are 100 upon number of teeth on the gear b they are 50 so what will get out of it 2 so the speed of gear b will be equal to what it will be equal to 10 minus minus plus 10 into 2 is 20 so it is going to be 30 kyunki ye plus mein hai it means it is clockwise clear so this is clockwise So this is the speed of the gear B for this question. Okay. Similarly, next part of it. What is the next part? He says the arm is fixed. So if the arm is fixed, what is the equation of arm? It is y. He is saying it means y is zero. And the gear A is given thirty revolutions counterclockwise. So gear A. What is the value of gear A? It is x plus y. So we are saying the value of x plus y is given revolutions what? Thirty. Clear? ये minus में आएगा why? Because it is counterclockwise. So we are saying counterclockwise is negative. Okay. Now after that the question is find the speed of gear B. So if y is zero, x plus y is minus thirty. By putting the value of y, what is the value of x? X will be equal to minus of thirty. Question is find the speed of b. So the speed of b, speed of the gear b, will be equal to what? Equation is y minus x t a over t b. So this will be equal to y that is zero. Minus x, that is minus thirty. T a that is hundred. T b that is fifty. So if you solve it, what we are getting? Minus minus is again plus. So thirty into two is sixty. Clear? So ये कि sixty क्या है? This is the speed of the gear b. when the arm a is fixed and the gear a is given 30 revolutions counter clockwise so you obviously baat hai ki agar aap arm ko fix kar rahe ho yahan pe is case ke liye agar arm fix hai so it is just a case of simple gear train do gears mesh kar rahe hain aapas mein to agar ek gear kya hai counter clockwise hai to dusra kaise aayega obviously wo aayega clockwise so 60 jo hai yahan pe plus mein aa raha hai ऑब्वियसली किसमें आएगा ये क्लॉक वाइज ही आएगा सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड अपॉन द एप साइकिल गियर ट्रेन क्लियर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल टेक सम ऑफ द मोर क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड अपॉन द 
epicyclic gear tank clear so this thing must be clear to you that sign conventions will be used by you only you can take clockwise positive or you can take negative clear but the same conventions should be used throughout the video throughout the numerical okay so that is all for today from my side please if you like the video please subscribe my channel that is magnetoreceptor please share the video with your friends need your support please subscribe thank you